Croeso i warchodfa natur genedlithol Cors Crumlin, y ffen fwya yng Nghymru gyfan. Mae yna le gwych ar gyfer bywy gwyllt o bob math gan gynnwys panhigion pren iawn, pryfetach pren, a mae yna'n gartre i corin y dŵr, y corin mwyaf sgyn ni yng Nghymru, ac dim ond i weld mewn llon llaw o ardaloedd ym Mrydain Cyfa. Ffurfwyd y gors yma, pan oedd y rhew lifoedd i flannu ar ddiwedd oes syr iawla. Yn ar y deg bach, na tyfiant dyfu ar hyd yr ymylon ac ar y dŵr i hun, wedi nefo'r dail yn marw, mae hwnna wedi ffurfio mawn, a mae'r mawn yna fel carped dros wyneb y gors, heddiw. Mae darnau o'r gors mae'n cael ei alw yn gors crynllyd. Pam, wedychwch ar hyn. Y hwnna achos bod y mawn yn gorwedd ar ben y dŵr. A mae mawn yn ffurfio yn aradeg ofnatwyd, dim ond milimetr pob blwyddyn. A mae'n cyngyfri bod mawn yn gorchuddio dim ond bedwar y cant o Cymru. Mae'n cloi mewn gymaint o garbon. Mae nhw'n amcyngyfri dros 30 y cant o'r carbon sydd yn y pridd bod hwnna yn y mawn. Ond mae 90 y cant o'n mawn ni mewn cyflwr cadwriaethol sal. A dyna pam mae Llywodraeth Cymru eisiau taclo y broblem yma. Mae'r mawndir yma mewn cyfwr gwael ochos llawer o bethau. Na allai gweithgareddau dynol neu diffyg rheolaeth. Mae bethau fel diwydiant yma, mae llygredd, mae gorbori neu dim digon o bori mewn mannau eraill. A hefyd mae pob math o blanhigion estron yn tyfu yma. A mae hyn yn golygu bod y mawn methu ffurfion iawn. Y mysg y prosiectau sy'n geisio adfer y mawndir mae Lifequick. Mae hwn yn cael ei ariannu gan Lif wedi gefnogi gan Llywodraeth Cymru, cael ei gario allan gan gyfoeth naturiol Cymru mewn partneriaeth gyda'r Ymddiredolaeth Genedlithol, Awdurdod Parc Genedlithol ar Fordir Penfro ac Erori. A dyma'r ola o arian Lif ar ôl i ni adael Ewrop efo Brexit. Dwi'n mynd rhywun i weld chydigor gwaith sy'n cael ei wneud yma. Rwy'n cyn bod ni'n dechrau unrhyw waith fel hyn, mae mor bwysig bod ni'n deall heidroleg y lle yma. Ac yma, i esbonio mwy, mae gareth i'wch swyddog yr holl gynllun. Ok, so this is one of the dip wells we installed at the beginning of the project. Um, reason being, we needed a baseline to understand what the hydrology of the site is doing. So the only way we can do that is by having this little bit of kit. The dip well itself will record water levels hourly for up three years or so, so for the whole life of the project. So we know where we are now before we've started restoration in the project and how high the water levels are and how that fluctuates throughout the seasons. Great case scenario, last year is the wettest year on record, so yeah. we've got a worst case scenario. Now that we've begun our restoration, we'll be able to see how that impacts on the water levels for the future. So it's an amazing little bit of kit. This just pulls out and we can plug it into our laptops and download all the data we need just from that bit of kit. And that's it, is it? That, that is it. And that will live there for the life of the project. And every six months or so, we'll come plug it into the computer and, and try and get an understanding of, of exactly what the water levels will do, are doing and you know it, it'll show us as I say what the project actions are doing to reduce the water levels off the site in this case um, but it'll also show us if we've done too much right. so if we start losing too much water we don't want to drop it off the site because then we risk damaging the peat that's here yeah. so we'll be able to put a stop on it and go okay hold on we're losing too much water what do we need to do to prevent that happening until we find that right balance that's just going to be perfect for the for the plants on the site and the production of peat. Now another part of the life funding project is getting rid of invasive species and one of the techniques used for that is stem injection. I'm hoping you're going to tell me exactly what stem injection means. Sure, so uh, where tree species are encroaching onto the bog we uh, make a downward notch cut with a hatchet 
and then into that we pour a small amount of herbicide with dye into it and then the herbicide uh, systemically kills the tree from the roots and then what that does rather than lose the tree entirely it allows us to retain standing deadwood which as you know is an important habitat feature in itself so if you just cut it the tree will just grow back will it yes yeah if that's essentially coppicing so the, the tree would grow back from the rootstock and we'd have to be here all over again to to do it again and of course you don't want, I mean, trees are good, but not on a wetland like this. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, trees are wonderful. They've got many important characteristics that we need them, but if the characteristics of the bog are more important than the trees, then by all means, let's not have the trees, let's have the bog. My hanes diwidianol cyfoethog ac amrywiol o amgylch cors crymlyn. Yn fwy afnodedig, efallai'r roedwaith o gamlesi a adeiladwyd i glydor glo i lawr y dociau ab y tawe. Ar y mylon Cors Crymlyn, mae cydlyffiad camlas port tenant lle mae camlas glan y wern a thorwyd all law a canhenni i ffwrdd ac yn y mestyn ar draws canol y gors ei hun. Er mwyn gwella llif y dŵr ar draws y safle, mae lifequake yn glirio'r camlas glan y wern ac yn eich ystyllu ar ôl i fyny a chamlas port tenant. Now I knew about the Tenants Canal, but I'd never heard before of the Glanawern Canal. It's your job to clear that. Why is that work important? To help regulate the water through the bog. So the, uh, the canal at the moment has become quite vegetated, which is holding the water back. Um, the idea is that we can remove some of that vegetation so then the water flow can be controlled to then regulate the water in the bog. Have you done this kind of work before? We have, yeah. And it comes with a lot of challenges. Um, so this bog hasn't been worked on uh, previously so there's a lot of unknown territory out there and um, ground conditions can be quite variable across the bog so yeah lots of challenges and um, uh, we just sort of do our best to manage that risk as we work across the site. It's got to be difficult though you know this is a bog, a quaking bog in part, it's got to be difficult to work in those kinds of conditions. It's really difficult yeah um, we've got some really skilled operators and um, we use low ground pressure machinery uh, and we literally feel our way in very very slowly um, and just try and keep the keep on top of the challenges and uh, and hopefully get the, the job done. Mae yna llawer o wahanol fathau o beiriannau sy'n chwarae ran wrth adfer a chynnal y cynefin yn Crymlyn. Un ohonynt yw'r piston bully cyn haiafwr gwliptir. Mae ei draciau yn ddigon llydan i leihau pwysedd ddeiar sydd yn galleogi'r peiriant fynd allan ar draws y gors. Mae'r piston bully yn torri trwy clwmpiau glaswelltog, cyrs a hyd yn oed coed bach gan adael ar wyneb y gors yn agored ac yn rhoi cyfle gwell a'i planhigion a'r mosoglau a deladu'r cors bwysig fyny. Unwaith y bydd wedi cael ei dorri, fydd mynediad i'r gors yn llawer gwell ar gyfer porid a byw. Cynau afwyr gliptu'r natur, a fydd yn chwarae ei ran wrth reoli'r llystyfiant yno. Well, petai gyrru y teclyn yma ddim digon periclis ar y gors, mae'n a hefyd y risg o ddod ar draws bomia sydd heb i ffrwydro. Mae hyn yn dyddion ôl i'r ail rhyfel byd pan oedd bomwyr yr almenwyr yn dod i fan mag yn ceisio bomio canolfan olew llandarsi ar y pryd y canolfan olew fwya ymrydain. Cyn holl y myriadau y prosiect sy'n digwydd yn Crymlyn, mae Lifequake wedi bod yn gweithio'n agos gyda chontractwyr sy'n arbenigo mewn ordnant heb rhoedrol. Ac mae crin dipyn o waith ar olygu wedi digwydd i nod i un rhyw beth ac allai fod o fewn y mawn a dylai fod yno. Dyma pam ddoi si yma go iawn, dwi'n digwydd go yn y piston bwli wani weld sydd mae'r yn gweithio. Oh, 
mae'r coed fel mae i'ch lefel y cabin hyn yn oed ond mae hwn yn tolu bod yn gwan yn hollol ddi ymdre. Fantastic, diolch yn galed ti. Na, dwi'n mynd problem, diolch. Diolch yn fawrio. I gotta say that was brilliant, amazing bit of machinery. Right there, they were with you. That's it, actually, I'm not going to do that. Man, I'm not going to do that. 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 I'm not going to Chwe bai'n mae'n anhygol bod y gors yma dal yma, gan feddwl pa mor achos yda ni at chwartar miliwn o bobl yn abertawau. A mae'n afygythiadau diri wedi bod o orsa bwer i weithwydd glo, i orsa olew llandarsi, i gamlesi, i adeiladu tai, ond er hyn ei gyd, mae'r gors dal yma a dal yn baradwys i bob math o fy wygwyll. Mae wedi bod mor braf dod yma i weld yr holl waith sy'n mynd ymlaen o dan y cynllun life quick. Gwel cymaint o waith yn cael ei wneud i adfer cynefu'n prin ofnadwy. Wedi i'r cyfan, mae mawn mor bwysig, mae o'n cloi carbon i mewn, mae o'n dal dŵr yn ôl ac yn helpu i atal llifogydd a'r mwyaf waith fel un gawni yng Nghymru gora fydd y cynefu'n. A'r cam nesau i fi, wel dwi'n meddwl, bod rhaid i ni ennyn pobl i ddod o abertawau o gastell neu o aber afan a dod yma i weld y trysor naturiol sy'n gennym ni fan yma. Reit ar drothwy un oedd i nasoedd mwyaf Cymru.